Hi guys, I'm Nagadachan, and welcome to my reaction for Your Lie in April, episode 10. So, there's this competition happening. Uh, we saw RMS Rivals performing, and those were very good. I really like them. But then RMA went to play, and he kind of started. But there is still like his uh, trauma and he's kind of feeling guilty because what he said to his mother when she was, I mean, yeah, she was abusing him, but she was very seriously ill and shortly after that she died. So he blames himself for that, I assume, that he shouldn't be saying things like that, that his wish came true. And it's natural, like, even what he said is natural, like, he was a kid, being abused. So, yeah, like, it's a very difficult situation, because I'm sure we, like, we saw portions of memories where his mother was very nice, normal. But it seems the moment she became ill, she kinda knew she doesn't have enough time. So that's why she became so driven, but like she wanted her son to achieve something, right? Because she was so sick and probably she was afraid that she could not watch him to like be good or something like that. It went kind of to obsession with him, like being the best and this kind of things. So it went down the drain very quickly because of her illness how quickly I assume she was deteriorating and all of this kind of affected little Arima too because she started acting very harshly towards him yeah it was very unfortunate like I understand she was sick probably desperate and all these kind of things but like it's never okay to abuse a child no matter what right but it's probably because their father, I mean, his father and husband, he seems to be, like, he works a lot. And I assume he always was working a lot, even before. So he wasn't there to kind of help the situation, right? So she was there, I assume, alone, maybe with some caretakers. I don't exactly know. But, like, she probably didn't have anyone else who would help her. With, she probably had some like mental problems, right, with her illness too. So she wasn't okay either. And I guess she did not went anywhere to find a help with her problem because she was slowly dying and she knew about it. So that's why she became so crazily obsessed, even abusive. Yeah, maybe if the husband would be there, would be supportive, would try to help her. They would talk about stuff together. The situation might have been way better. But, like, he was working somewhere else, right? Supporting the family. But, like, yeah, when these kind of harsh situations are happening, like, one parent probably would not be able to deal with that, especially if the parent is having, like, horrible illness and they know they're dying, right? Yeah, I mean, the husband probably should have been there to help, right? I I understand that he was working his ass off, right? <laughs> to support the family, but still, the situation probably could have been better. And like, money, yes, but also your wife who became abusive, crazy psychopath, and your child which became so horribly traumatized, What is more important? What is more important, right? Yeah, so husband probably wasn't there. That's sad. That's very sad. Yeah. But I understand it because in Japan the work situation sucks quite a lot. Yeah, but still... Like, because such a horrible thing was happening in a family, the whole family should be there to support each other. Especially in situation like this. Yeah, I'm sure if that would be the case, the situation could have been way better. 
and mother wouldn't die so bitter and Arima wouldn't like wished for his mother to die because things could have been way different right if like more family members would care i don't know did someone care it didn't seem like anyone else was mentioned his husband was working but like what about grandparents why they weren't there why they weren't supporting the family i don't know like <laughs> I don't exactly know how it works with this kind of situation in Japan. Maybe uh, the grandparents were already dead or something like that. Yeah, sometimes it sucks, the situations sometimes. So that was very, very sad. And he was trying to play, but again, his trauma awakened. So things kind of started to get a little bad. And I'm intrigued where this will be going how this will continue so i'm going to start it right now okay i'm going to make it a little louder because the music the nice piano okay That's too loud. <laughs> He's talking too loudly. Really? I mean, it's not everything. <laughs> you might have another opportunity. You never know. Oh, that's so sweet. His friends are so supportive, despite sometimes they don't know how to deal with this shit because it's it's hard to deal with things like this. Sometimes support is enough. You know, like being there for someone. Better than not being there at all. Yeah. Like I said, it's not going to get away so easily. It takes time. Don't think about it. <laughs> he is also a very good friend. I like his friends. They are very supportive. And they are trying to help him. Okay, the opening. <laughs> so, like, he was trying to... Uh, he's a football player, right? And he kind of, like, wasn't able to get where he wanted. But, like, hey, you still have opportunity. Life is rocky. You never know when you can hit the lottery, right? Okay, even though I really like it, I'm going to skip it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah, it is. Kind of erratic. I guess he's trying to get it out of his system. That must be so frustrating. He's just trying so hard. Yeah. That's why he's so erratic. That's so sad. Seriously.
I need to calm down. You can really hear desperation. <laughs> calm down, calm down, calm down. Yeah, but this. Shut up, woman! You hurt him so much. What about his dreams? What about his dreams? Poor kid. He's so traumatized. It's so hard to watch. You need to calm down. <laughs> you. It's a trauma. He's suffering every time he's playing because of his freaking mom. Yeah, we can hear it. We can hear it. Shut it up! That's not true. He did. He was trying to please her. It's imagery, I love it so much. It's anxiety inducing, not gonna lie. You need to calm down. I know it's hard in this situation though. He's like, this is what I deserve. I deserve this. It's probably what he's thinking. Because of the visualization of what the mother is saying. Calm down, calm down. Yeah. It's okay, you need to calm down. Don't be negative. It won't change immediately. It won't change immediately. It's step by step. Yeah, continue, come on. Don't give up, don't give up. She's truly his light. She's such an inspiration. Yeah, it must be so horrible for them. What happened to you, right? It must hurt them. You need to calm down, dude. Come on. Breathe in, breathe out. Calm down. I mean, it's understandable that. Come on, dude. Come on. Calm down and continue. It's so hard for him. I understand it. Like I said, it's not easy to overcome it. And it won't ha happen overnight. These things take time. And there is like a lot of pressure with these kind of things. Come on. Shut up, people. Nope. Come on. 
You can't give up. Yeah. So at least finish it. It doesn't matter. Come on. Well, who knows? This is so sad. It really hurts me. <laughs> he really hurts me because I feel so sad for him. The tension. Come on, dude. Yep, not giving up is important. But it doesn't matter if he doesn't win. He needs to continue for himself, at least. It doesn't matter. He needs to finish it. That's important because he needs to stop giving up. So that would be at least some kind of step forward. He's so nice to him. Yeah, she's helping him a lot. Motivation, that's important. To play for someone. <laughs> Poor dude. Uh, he went through so much changes. Yeah, kinda. You know, there is this stuff. Yeah. So nice. Because he found his motivation why to play. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just finish it. Yeah, that's exactly that. Just play the way you want it. You. <laughs> That's important. It even went like kind of mellow. So cute.
Yeah, because his mood changed and he decided. That is very important. Cute! But sad. <laughs> Oh. Okay, now this is getting really nice. Yeah, everyone put everything into their performances. That's true. If you grasp, if you like put your heart into it. And the violin! Stop it, Anima! Yeah, she's helping him a lot. Yep, he just had a little breakdown. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm same girl. I'm same. Yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah. Life. That's called life. Things happen. I really love this violin put into it. Very strong. He's putting all his feelings into it. That's important. Finally! Finally! This is really beautiful. It's done. Important step forward. <laughs> They're like, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> They're confused. Like, it, it started kind of... Uh, then... Uh, then... Uh, we don't know what we are supposed to do. But it's like... Easily kind of... Well showing the emotional state state of his mind he had that's important it doesn't matter come on 
Yeah, he decided. That's important. Of course it did. Mmm, she's noticing. That's like what he wanted, needed, approval, to kind of ease his mind. <sighs> because she was always there, kind of like, put him down. And I think this will help him a lot. Yeah. It's okay, it doesn't matter if he doesn't win. Just the fact that he continued. And just did not stop, didn't run away, that he did not give up. But it's because of the girl. What is her name, Kari? I don't remember <laughs> again. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting the name. It's because of her, and he likes her. Yeah, you can totally see that he loves her. And love is strong emotion. And he realized that kind of that he cares about her so much and he wants to play for her that was very important realization because it can it will drive him now he wants to play for her not for his mother not like to be the best okay sir Yeah. He's been through a lot. Yeah. Oh, he will deal with that. He has his whole life in front of him. <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was this was this episode was again quite emotional. Yeah. But in the end he managed and that's the most important thing. Yeah. And it's all because of Kauri is her name? Seriously. Yeah, Kauri. It's because of her. She is truly a light in his life. If she would not become part of his life, who knows? Maybe he would never... Like, she is giving him that push he needs. Right? Because she's so positive and he fell in love with her. And love is a very strong emotion, right? So, being with her is kind of healing him and helping him a lot. It was very sweet, very, very sweet. And, like, it even brought her to tears. I mean, it almost brought me to tears the moment when he kind of started playing for her and you can hear the chant. It was so emotional and so sweet. So sweet. Because before that, he was playing so erratically. Right? You, you could hear how disturbed he was because of his trauma but then it kind of mellowed down and it was so beautiful yeah i really love how they are doing the performances in this anime like you can really feel the emotions in the playing and that is very important for for this kind of anime <laughs> yeah that's just amazing despite like this performance sucked kind of because the way how he played and you know it wasn't top-notch performance 
for him that was not important and i'm glad he realized that, that like he doesn't need to be perfect he doesn't need to win especially because he was traumatized and he had problems to play just finishing it and realizing why he wants to play and what emotions he kind of wants to put in is enough and he can build on it but at least things are getting better now and that's like i said most important thing it's getting better and that's all what matters yeah so i'm going to give this episode 8 out of 10 just emotional stuff and the fact that like at the end he kind of saw approval even from his mother yeah, that's probably the biggest step in forward, because he was being held down by her, but now she approved of this, seemingly. So maybe he would not be getting put down by her anymore. Yeah, seems like that's what was happening there. I guess that's all. <laughs> I guess that's all. Really, really good episode. I'm really liking this. So, goodbye and see you next time.